Hi, welcome back to this series. So in the last video, we did quite a lot in terms of creating and fetching and displaying posts on our website. We created these three markdown files, including some information about the posts, uh, what the post says, the date and who posted it, etc. And we ran this qu query, this GraphQL query to fetch all this information about the posts. And we display the posts in this post using this post component that we created last episode which takes uh, a couple of properties of the post and displays them in a card. So this is what applic our application looks like right now. It's pretty simple. Uh, we just have the posts and they are actually sorted by created ad. So the last one appears first. So let's add a thumbnail image to these posts because in our website, we want thumbnail images for the posts we create. So, I found this image right here, so we can download this and attach it to our posts. Uh, now, for the purpose of uh, simplicity and mm, not repeating myself a lot, I'm just going to use the same image for these uh, three posts. You, If you want, you can use uh, different images. Uh, it doesn't matter, just to demonstrate that it works. So let's call this image javascript.jpg, because it's got javascript on it. and Oh, by the way, let's do one thing before we carry on with writing code. Let's commit the changes that we've uh, made so far. So let's do git add dot, and in the same line, I'm going to add another command, git commit, and our message would be created, create, creating and fetching posts. Okay. So now that we've got this image, we go to our posts and we uh, add this image image front matter property there. So image, and we give the relative path to that image. So we go back two levels and we do images slash JavaScript JPEG. Now let's copy that entry and paste it here, paste it here and save all files. And next thing is that we need to add this field, this image field in our uh, query to fetch the information about that image. Now we're going to use this uh, library called Gatsby image, which comes already installed. Um, if you can see here, yeah, Gatsby image right here. And uh, the, the, the sharp, where is it? Yeah, Gatsby plugin sharp. This plugin is going to as well do something behind the scenes to optimize uh, the image. I'll show you in a moment. So we add in the front matter fields, we add the field image and we add inside of that child image sharp. And inside of that, a property called fluid, which can take um, some information about the image. Let's set the maximum width of 600. And this will cap the width of the image. So even if you have a large image, it's, it's going to scale it down and, and uh, reduce the, the resolution to optimize performance, basically. So let's do, let's spread Gatsby image sharp fluid. And let's pass this property to the post uh, component. By the way, we haven't we haven't added this property yet, but we will in a moment. So let's pass a property called fluid, and that is sitting in node dot front matter. Oops, front matter dot um, image dot child image sharp dot fluid. Let me make sure I got those right. So, um, no dot front matter dot image dot. Yeah. Okay. The child image sharp dot fluid. All right. So let's go to the post component and add that image. So let's add this image at the top of our card. So inside the, actually outside the body. So go here. And first let's add the, the property fluid here. And let's go. Uh, actually, we need the Gatsby image, so let's import image from Gatsby dash image, and let's use that uh, component. IMG with a capital I instead of uh, lowercase, which is just a normal HTML image tag. Class name of card image top, which will give it some styling and fix it on the top of the card, and let's give it a property fluid of fluid, which is what we passed to the component. Let's save all files 
and let's run Gatsby develop and see what this looks like. It sh uh, all the posts now should have this JavaScript image at the top of the um, uh, of the card. If we give it a moment to compile the files now, this this plugin does a bunch of things. One of them is when the page is loaded, it's gonna um, load the the size of the image and hold it there. So even if the image is not loaded, the the layout doesn't change from when the image is loaded, and it, it loads. Um, it loads through phases, so the image fades into existence. So it loads a lower quality faded image and then it becomes sharper as the, as the image loads fully, which gives it uh, this really cool, um, loading feel to it. And uh, the, the plugin as well does one other thing. I believe we will find the assets generated here. Um, Gatsby astronaut. No, we're not using this anymore. But you can see th this example, we can use this example. So what the, the plugin does is it makes different sizes of the image so that depending on the screen size that we're using and the device that we're using, it serves a different size so that it optimizes performance on mobile devices and serves smaller si files so the side, site loads much faster. And there we go, we have our image uh, thumbnail on, uh, on, the, on our postcards. The, the quality is a bit, um, is a bit weird, but we're gonna change the side, the size of this card because we, we're gonna have a sidebar on this side and let's make this a bit smaller actually. So we're gonna do that by using, did I collapse this? By using bootstrap grid and I think we should edit the layout file. Yes, let's go to layout. Should we do it in the index? For now, let's just do it in the index. So <clears throat> what we need to bring in actually from React Strap is simport row and call. And if you've worked with Bootstrap, you know what these are. And if you haven't, these are just um, grid elements which uh, control the sizing of some elements in our uh, in our page. So let's call, let's cut all this static query for now. And let's do a row and inside that row we have two columns and the first column will take a property of MD which will make it um, snap sizes on a medium screen size and MD of 8 so that will take 8 out of 12 spaces in our uh, grid and there we're gonna put our content and in here, let's let's just put a div, an empty div, and give it some styling just to see what the div will look like later, or what space it will occupy. So let's give it a an attribute style. And remember, this is JSX, so this is not a string. It's going to be a JavaScript object. And our properties: let's give it a width of 100 and a height of 100 percent as well. And let's give it a background color. <coughs> of RGBA 0, 0, 0 and 0 0.4 which is which is just the gray basically and let's save that let's see what it looks like now and there we go so we have uh, this sidebar basically a um, whole placeholder for now and this is our content now our content will come on the left uh, in this uh, call MD8 and on a small screen as well we get to see that our sidebar goes uh, goes invisible, and we only see um, the 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 cards. Okay, so what do we do now? Let's wrap this image actually with a link tag because we want to be able to click on these images and go to to the post. So let's go to the post component and let's cut this. Let's put a link, and that link will go to oops to s s path, and let's put the image inside of that. And now the image should be a hyperlink to that, and there we go. So the image now takes us to to the path of of this post. Um, I think this is it for this video. Uh, last video was pretty long, so I want to keep the videos pretty in a smaller, con more consumable uh, portions for now. So in the next video, we're going to be doing more in terms of posts. We're going to add tags. 
to the posts and show them in the home page right here and uh, yeah look forward to that and uh, thank you for coding along thank you for following and and if you like these videos please make sure to to drop a like any criticism or praise or feedback is appreciated in the comment sections and uh, yeah hope to see you in the next one cheers